Hey everybody, I'm David and this is the brand new Stansbro shop where we do detailing videos, car reviews and a lot more. Nice stance, bro. So this is our Phoenix Yellow M3. Today we're going to be starting off the detail with the engine bay, loosening up the dirt with APC from Gion, and then followed up with a foam wash with PNS. go over top of it with a detail brush just to agitate all the dirt, get it all ready for that foam. So a little background story on the M3 is that we found it, I guess in a barn slash garage that was left there for about five years. So it did build up quite a bit of dust, uh, a little bit of debris. There are some scratches, swirl marks inside there. So first off, we're gonna take it through a wash. Definitely by starting with the wheels first. You always wanna start with the wheels when you're detailing your car. Next, we're probably gonna hit it with the uh, pre-rinse just to loosen all the dirt up. We're gonna hit it with an iron remover that's gonna turn all the embedded contaminants in the paint, kind of the liquid that you can just spray off. And we're gonna foam up the car uh, using Adam's Mega Foam. That's just gonna make sure that it creates a nice slick barrier between my uh, wash mitt and the paint so I don't add any more scratches, any more swirls that aren't necessary. After the contact wash, we'll be drying it using a dreadnought from the Rag Company just to make sure that we definitely minimize any more damage to the paint. And after that, we're gonna take it through a two-step cut and ceramic coat it for two years of protection. So this is how we clean a wheel the Stance Bros way. We're gonna first take the water and just loosen up all the dirt, get the tire nice and wet. We're gonna take Fireball wheel and tire, spray it on, it's just gonna decontaminate the wheel and the rim. It's gonna get the dirt very, very loose so I can go behind it with a brush, just agitate it, and we're gonna pressure wash it away. So right now we're just gonna hit it with some pre-wash just to loosen up all the dirt. This is also gonna make it a lot safer for when we go into the contact wash. We also wanna make sure that we get into the gas cap here. A lot of detailers like to miss that, but not here at Stans Bros. And as I failed to mention before, the reason we clean our wheels first because they are the dirtiest part of the vehicle so when you are spraying the vehicle, rinsing it off after you've nicely shampooed it, we don't want any dirt flying back up from the pressure washer and then re-contaminating the car. And then you just wanna let this sit on your car for a good 30 seconds, I guess. You can go a little bit longer, it's not gonna harm the paint unless you leave it for about five minutes. Anything over five minutes, you're, you're not gonna have much paint left. So uh, right now we are gonna pull the curtain across just to make sure that our camera crew stays safe from all the water and everything. Um, and so the shot might blur a little bit, but we'll do the best we can here for you guys.
So right now we're gonna do my personal favorite part, which is foam up the car with Adam's Mega Foam. It is colored to be green. I like the green. It's a good, nice green apple scent. I love it. Uh, this is basically just gonna put a thick soapy barrier between me and my wash mitt so that we prevent any swirling or scratches. <laughs> We are using the two bucket wash method. The reason we do that is because you want to rinse your mitt in nice clean water and then go back into the non-contaminated water. Kind of just so you prevent any dirt or contamination transfer. You always want to make sure that you're going side to side and never in a circle. If you go in a circle, you're actually just going to spread the dirt around and create more swirling and scratching in your paint. If you want to go real professional, you go in the direction of the wind that blows. <laughs> So if your wind is blowing to the north, you try and wipe to the north. Now per panel, you always wanna go back, rinse in the dirty water, and then rinse in your clean water. And then right back to the car. So you always wanna wash side to side method. You never wanna go in a circle, because all you're gonna do is you're gonna take all that contaminants that's in the paint, Being cooped up in a garage for five years, this car is pretty uncontaminated. So the last thing that we're gonna do to make sure that the vehicle is properly decontaminated and clean is to safely remove anything that's embedded into the paint. Little tiny uh, particles like brake dust will embed itself into the paint that a typical detail or wash won't be able to get out. So the safest way to do it is with an iron remover and a clay bar or a clay mitt. Now, not a lot of people will know this, but the iron remover is actually used as lube for the clay mitt. So all you want to do is spray the car, give it a nice little mist, and then wipe the clay bar over top of it. The best way you'll know if your car is contaminated is if you take your finger and run it across the paint. If it feels like sandpaper, you have stuff embedded into your paint, and you'll hear the mitt actually take it out. You can actually feel the mitt taking it out. You can do this over top of PPF as well. You'll know the spray is working when it starts to change color. So it'll go from a clear color to a purple color, and that's when you know to spray it off. So now we're just gonna tile dry the car. We're using the Dreadnought by the Red Company. It has 15,000 gizms, which basically means it's never gonna scratch your car. I did forget to mention, typically you do want to use a drying agent like a Gion Quick Detailer just to minimize all the swirling scratching that you might put in. Like I said, the towel is not going to cause any, but in case you're a little bit worried, and it will add added protection. We're not going to do that because we're going to be polishing it, and you don't want anything protecting the paint. You just want pad on paint contact. So right now, all we're doing is we're taping off all this black trim going around the vehicle. So now that the vehicle is properly decontaminated, we're gonna run a two-step cut. Essentially what that means is we're gonna use a heavy cut compound. We're using Rupes today. And what that's gonna do is remove any defects in the paint, any swirling, any harsh scratches, anything like that. Then we're gonna come behind it with a polish just to give it a mirror-like shine. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take the polish and you wanna do about five little dabs on your pad. And then spread it out nice and evenly over the paint. 
You always want to put the cord over your shoulder so you don't damage the paint. Have your polisher on a low setting just to spread it all out. And then you're going to kick it up all the way to the max setting. So after you're done polishing, you're just going to take a microfiber towel and lightly buff off any excess polish. So when you're polishing, you always want to make sure that your pad's always evenly on the panel. You don't want a little bit up, don't want a little bit down. Apply a little bit of light pressure. You always want to cut. So cutting compound, you always want to cut on six. And when you finish with your polish to give it that nice near finish, you want to finish around four or three. Ceramic coating. Essentially what a ceramic coating does is it's liquid glass. You're gonna paint this on top of your paint by applying it to a little microfiber pad and go in a cross hatch, hatch motion over the paint. When that dries, you can think of it as almost glass protecting your paint. Now don't be fooled by other ceramic coatings that you might get at the dealership. We use Revivify, best in Canada, self-healing technology. All right, so now we're just gonna clean up and protect the rim. Now you're not gonna protect it for very long like a ceramic coating will, but you will protect it for about two to three months. It makes it a lot easier to clean off all the brake dust and any debris that gets on your rim. It definitely shines it up a lot. Here at Sam's Bros, we offer both high gloss and satin finish. This particular client wanted a high gloss tire shine, so we're using Fireball. So after vacuuming our carpets, we like to go the extra step here at Stan's Bros and shampoo them. How we shampoo them is we use PNS a carpet bomber. We spray it all over the rug, get it all soapy. We hit it with the drill brush just to agitate all the dirt and come behind it with the extraction unit to suck all the dirt out of your carpets.
This is our finished BMW E46 M3, where we ran an interior and exterior detail, two-step cut, and ceramic coating for four years of protection. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. All links are in the description. I'll see you on my next detail.